trapped there. Right in front of his wickets. Superb bowling. So Richard Hadley takes his 10 wickets for the first time against England. That type of motivational work is very important uh, against all countries, but uh, particularly against the West Indies, I would think, who are very much on top. And they did very well against you in the first test of your next series, but then you came back at them. The first test was a, a very big disappointment for us because we got annihilated, uh, smashed out of sight, and Gordon Greenwich got a big double century. And uh, I was so fed up and so annoyed at our performance where we lacked professionalism and dedication that I wrote an article in the newspaper to that effect and I got rebuked for that. And uh, it caused a Coney Hadley clash uh, for the second test match uh, starting at Christchurch. And we were really in no frame of mind to go out there and play. The first day had been washed out with rain and it in effect really became sort of a three, four day test match. And uh, any chance of us getting a result to square the series was always going to be uh, somewhat difficult. Uh, however, we bowled them out for 100, quite unbelievably so, and I got 6 for 50 and didn't bowl well. In fact, after 4 or 5 overs, I took myself off from the bowling crease uh, because I hadn't bowled well. But you and Chatfield bowled splendidly, you got 4 wickets for not too many. And uh, normally when somebody gets 5 or 6 wickets, you actually uh, lead the players from the field to the uh, applause of the crowd. But I knew I hadn't done the job particularly well, and I pushed you and Chatfield uh, ahead of me to receive the, the applause because he was the one that was instrumental at that time for bowling the West Indies out for not too many. Oh! Bowling! <laughs> Early success for New Zealand. Richard Hadley bowls Desmond Haynes, and the West Indies are two for one. Edge. Richardson's gone. Edge. Jeremy Coney has the catch. for Hadley. Eight wickets down now the West Indies. Edge. Coney has another one. And Richard Hadley has five wickets for the 29th time in his test career. That's the end of it. Richard Hadley gets his sixth we bowled them out in the second innings for 300 or so, and we only needed 33 to win the match. Seemingly an easy target, uh, but we lost five wickets in doing it. But we won the match, we squared the series, so retained a sort of unbeaten record as far as uh, winning or squaring series were concerned. We had never lost a test series at home during the 80s at that time, which again was a very impressive uh, record and performance for us. Any time to beat uh, the West Indies when they're in top form is uh, a marvellous moment, but what about your 150 against Sri Lanka. 